Hey guys, because here and you are watching WG Labs. Guys, today I am bringing you the second part of our series on home automation using DIY PR motion sensors. In our previous video, we demonstrated how to create a DIY PR motion sensor that can publish MQTT messages when it detects motion. We achieved that by using simple PR sensor with an ESP8266 module with Tasmota firmware. Today, we will take it a step further by showing you how to integrate this device into OpenHAV and create rules and script to enhance its functionality. Imagine this scenario, you want to control a device when motion is detected, but you don't want it to turn on and off frequently. To address this issue, we'll utilize OpenHAV's rules and script to introduce a delay. This delay will keep the device on for a specified interval after detecting the motion. If the PR sensor detects motion during this time, the delay will reset. This smart approach prevents constant switching between the on and off states of the control load. So with that in mind, let's get started guys. The device is already publishing the data to this MQT topic. We can see the message over here. As I move my hand, yep, it should get on and sometime later it should go off. Now in OpenHAP, we need to first uh, you know, connect to the MQTT server. To do that, I'll just get into things. Create an MQTT binding. Then first we need to connect the MQTT broker. To do that, I'll just provide the host name. And we also need to give the username and password. So it should be here. Okay the username and the password and we should click on create thing now we should have a you know working MQTT connection to the broker basically now we need to create a MQTT based thing that will represent the PR sensor to do that again I'll click on plus and MQTT binding and a generic MQTT thing now over here we'll select the bridge and we'll give it a name basically okay now create thing now we should create some channels for this uh thing that we've created so go over here and i'll add a channel and we'll add that as a switch and we'll just copy this topic that the pr sensor is publishing to so from here we'll just get this portion of it and state topic so custom on off value is like you know for on we're going to on and for closed we're going to have off also we'll keep the same topic as comment but you can have different topic as well so yeah. so i'll keep it so three i'll name it pio sensor three okay done now if we click this say something like this sorry now uh, before that actually we need to link to an item i'll create a new item and close with pl sensor three same we'll have default so click on link now you can see now if i make some motion like you know just move my hand over the pr sensor the switch will go on and sometime after it should go off now we have the item that is basically now mimicking the pr sensor now based on this we should create a rule that will basically control other devices so i'll go over here in rules I'll just remove this one. We're no longer using this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'll create a new rule here when the item PR sensor 3 receives command on. Okay. Then what we want to do is we want to run a script. So I'll design that with blockly. So, the 
okay before that uh, we just want to you know create a thing that will be controlling using the uh, pi sensor so for that i'll just create an item <laughs> And I'll go to level Here, control device. I'll just copy this, create this item. So ideally when PR sensor will go on, this device will go on for certain time. Again, how many you know PR control device or PR sorry, PR sensor 3 gets re-triggered, this will stay on. So it will only go off if the PR sensor is not triggered within the threshold interval. That is going to be either you know 10 second, 20 second, or minutes, depending upon how you want to configure it. So again, let's go to rule. And here, I'll, what I'll do is I'll go with timers, and what we'll select is this one. So uh, after 10 seconds, uh, it will basically. Turn the device off. So, and device is going to be this control device. Yeah. Now, I'll do the same thing on and the same device so basically what it does is uh you know it wait for 10 seconds if this you know my item is not triggered again it will or the script is not triggered again it will make the device off otherwise it will you know reschedule the trigger if there is another trigger to the script and it will send command on to the pair control device that way the device will be on uh, unless until there is no motion at all so this interval you can select uh, you know based on your requirement for testing let's say we go with uh, three seconds save it okay now this is there this is there okay i'll save rule now as i move my hand the script should execute Give me a second. Okay, now uh, so it should be state update uh, instead of comment. Now, if I move my hand, the script should execute. I can do one thing. I'll just increase the interval a bit so that we can notice. Ten seconds, save and okay. Now let me move my hand and it goes on. So this should also go on. Now if I move again, it should stay on basically. And if we wait for 10 seconds, this device should go off. So basically, you can replace with any device instead of this. So that's all, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video and it and it will be useful for you. If so, hit the thumbs up button. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, consider subscribing for videos like this. See you in our next video. Till then, goodbye.